Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day so far. My name is Emily and today I'm going to share with you how to make this easy DIY teepee. You're going to want a measuring tape, sandpaper, rope. You also want a drill and a drill bit, a staple gun as well as staples, or you could use a glue gun if you do not have that on hand. It's completely optional to you. I will be decorating mine with some paint using some sponges and a dish. Here, I will also be using four wood stakes. These are one by twos. Be used whatever wood you might have on hand. And the most important part is the drop cloth. I'm using these canvas drop cloths from the company Melka, who is sponsoring today's video. They actually come in three different sizes. You can purchase these off of Amazon, and they also gave me a 10% coupon code for you guys. These are amazing because they are seamless. They're already hemmed for you, and they're very versatile. You can use them to cover furniture. You can also use them for normal drop cloths for when you're painting as a backdrop and curtains they're really versatile you can use them pretty much for anything I love these because they're the only ones on the market that are actually hemmed and you don't have to sew them they are super soft you can bleach them as well so I will leave a link to them in the description box below first thing you're going to want to do for your project is sand down all of your wood pieces The next step is to take your drill. I am using a 5 16th drill bit. I went about 8 inches from one end and put the hole right in the center of the uh, wood. And I'm going to do this to all of my uh, boards here and then I'm also going to sand down after each of them making sure I get any splinters and loose ends off. The next step is to take your rope and weed that through one of your boards and then you will tie a simple knot on the end. Nothing too heavy duty here, you just want it to hold for you and then you'll take the other end of your rope and then weed that through all the other boards and you'll pull that rope all the way through and basically taking out any of the extra length because we are going to tie the boards together after this. This is when I went ahead and stood the boards all the way up, putting them in that TP position. And then I just started wrapping my rope tightly around each individual board and securing that around because if you just went all the way around the boards, it would just kind of collapse on you. So you want to make sure that you're going in between each of the boards. There's no uh, right or wrong way to do this. Just make sure that you're doing um, individual boards at a time. And then when you get closer to the end, then you can go ahead and wrap that all the way around. And then I just went ahead and cinched that and tied another knot here. Here. Again, this is uh, pretty easy to do, nothing too hard here. Now this next step is optional. I went ahead and put a hole in each of the boards on the very bottom, about four to five inches from the bottom, and then just funneled my rope through, tying that knot. That way the boards would not separate anymore because my kids will be playing in this. Again, it's optional, completely up to you. Then the next step is to take your drop cloth canvas and drape that over the teepee. This is a six by nine that I am using here and I just made sure that it was level and even in the front. And then I went ahead and took my staple gun and cinched it around the top right where the rope was and then just added um, one staple there securing the one side on and then I tugged around the other side and secured that to the same area and then I added three more staples to it. Then I went to the opening of the teepee and added one right near the bottom and then I also added one about another foot or so uh, higher than that on the side. That way the canvas would not uh, pull apart with my kids playing in it. Then I took that extra canvas, you can leave that on the bottom, but I just tucked it into that rope which was another advantage here because then you could put a blanket or something else underneath. 
Next step is to decorate the canvas. This is optional again, but my boys really wanted it to be decorated, so I made triangle shapes out of a regular uh, dish sponge, and I just dipped my paint in it, wiping off the excess, and then just kind of dabbled my fingers around each edge of the sponge there, getting and distributing the paint really evenly, and you can see how it is coming off. I really liked this. It dries pretty quickly, maybe within an hour or so. And I just did that all the way around the teepee and I really love the way this turned out. It was such an easy DIY and I hope that you guys will be able to recreate this or maybe give it a little bit more of a feminine touch, adding some florals to the top of the TB and whatnot. But I want to say thank you to Melka for sponsoring today's video and supplying the drop cloth canvas. I will have them linked down in the description box below if you do pick them up off of Amazon. And be sure to use that 10% off coupon code as well. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you again so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you are new. That way I can continue to inspire and motivate you to create things on a budget. I will see you guys in the next one.